uh, welcome to the finals. Won the die roll. Gonna go first. Playing against N Taylor twenty one twenty one. And this hand isn't that great, but eh, I, I don't think it's worth mulliganing. So I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and keep it. It's pretty borderline though. This is a hand I'd prefer to be on the draw, but whatever. I don't want to like mulligan and risk having like an unkeepable hand. Like there, there's a bunch of draws in my deck that uh, will make this hand pretty decent. And turn aside kills most things in this format. So, and we're playing against a green deck, so that's typically a good matchup. Okay, I think I'm gonna play the vampire first. Okay, Rummaging Goblin definitely made this hand a lot better. I can start pitching excess lands. interested in trading any one of my guys for an Alpish Visionary, so I'll just take it. And let's see what we can draw here. Mark and Mutiny. Well, there's the combo, but I don't think I want to use it on a Deadly Recluse. Call me crazy. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and rummage. Let's see what we can find. That's that was a good one. All right, still not going to attack, so we'll just shift the turn, and then next turn we can hopefully make something happen. Fortunately, that is not something I can mark a mutiny, nor is it something I can force to not be able to block. Um, so it looks like I'm just going to take one here. All right. Don't really want to discard any one of these cards, so I'm just going to uh, play out both of my two drops here. We'll lead with the Ravenous Rats first. And then the Flunkies. And really don't have any good attacks here. I mean, I could, in theory, attack with Bloodthrown Vampire and offer the trade with like a... I, I mean, I, I'd have to sacrifice two creatures to it, and it, it's just not worth it, so I'm just going to pass the turn. I, I, I would much rather just leave this Bloodthrown Vampire around to be able to sack stuff to uh, Mark and Mutiny. Okay, well, that's something I'm going to Mark and Mutiny, because uh, that is a good man. Okay, still, I could just trade a Mog Flunkies for it. I think I'd, nah, I think I'd rather just attack. So, uh, I'll just take three. And uh, on my turn, I think I'm going to Mark of Mutiny and hopefully make something happen. Alright, so let's cast this Mark of Mutiny on Mr. Prize Element. And we'll make his Deadly Recluse not be able to block. And let's attack. Oh, 
We'll leave the Rummaging Goblin back, uh, but everything else can attack. That was an incorrect block, sir. Should have blocked my vampire. Eh. Now nah, you know what? I'll, I'll whatever. I'll, uh, I'll I'll let I'll, I'll let these guys trade. If you, if you could still stack damage, then I could you know whatever. Actually, no, that that still doesn't do anything. So whatever. Uh, yeah, you can just take uh, three, six, ten. Sentinel Spider. Uh, I think I want to keep both of these cards. So we'll just see what a Rummaging Goblin will find us this turn. Alright, well, Goblin Arsonist is something I, 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 I'm... Uh, I can I can throw away. Okay, so... Do I want to attack? I'd only be attacking a Bloodthorn Vampire, and that seems like a bad attack, so I'll just pass a turn. No attacks even. It's probably safe to attack with a sentinel spider. Alright, well I kinda wanna find a land here, so let's get rid of this walking corpse, which isn't gonna do a whole lot. And there's the land. And I guess we can turn to slag his 4-4. And Deadly Recluse is not blocking. Let's get in with Flunkies and the Baconator. Oh yeah, this game is looking very much in control. Ferox, oh my god, so good. Alright, well let's just play our arms dealer, make his deadly recluse unable to block, and probably attack with everything.
That was not unexpected. Let's see. Do I want to sacrifice something? Three, four, five. No, it's not lethal anyway, so whatever. He can block. Battle Jester is really good. <laughs> uh, might have underestimated this card a bit. Uh, it's, I mean, every time I've had it in play, it's just dominated the board. Something huge. Ooh, that is a good one. That's a very good one. Alright, well, I think what I'm going to do is sacrifice one of these two goblins. Uh, probably I think it's going to be the rummaging goblin. Okay, I mean, I can't really let this stay in play. I just hope I, I just draw a land naturally. Whoa, whoa hold on. I, I think I might have... Uh, just want to make sure <laughs> I didn't actually just target my Rummaging Goblin, because that would have been embarrassing. Okay, well, I drew the land. That makes things a lot easier. All right, play my uh, play my dragon. Uh, you have to deal with it this turn, or you're dead. Please don't deal with it. <laughs> uh, kind of deals with it. Now I no longer have an arms dealer, but uh, I just all I need to do is draw a red spell and he's dead. Red spell. Even deals with his staff if it in. 